next one. I'm really excited to go over this one. I've been looking for this figure for years. As soon as I found out that this actually existed, um, so I was able to get this uh, figure, and I got it off of eBay. And this was uh, being sold by a high spot. So high spots is a uh, a company that basically sells like all types of wrestling memorabilia. You know, autographs, action figures, um, collectibles of all kinds. They do signings there. And so this is the um, the FTC. Uh, figure of brian myers also known as kurt hawkins from wwe he's also well known in the figure community because he has started a figure company with his best friend matt cardona aka zach Ryder. and they, he also is um not only does he have his own toy company um which is the major bendies and the big rubber guys they have also figures in, uh, in Super 7. Brian Myers also has a figure for the FTC. And of course, WWE, but essentially, they, you know, they don't have the rights to the WWE figures, so they um, started their own toy company. But they're also podcasters. This is one of the reasons why when I started toy collecting, I started listening to this uh, a podcast that was about wrestling figures. It was called the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. That, along with... Um, you know, just inspiring to do something with my son um, and having, you know, at that time during uh, like 2019, my son and I, I'll tell the story real quick. My son and I were having some issues finding stuff to do as father and son because his likes um, and my likes were completely different. You know, and I was I was starting to get a little bit of, uh, you know, not mad, but sad. You know, that I couldn't kind of relate to my son and do something with him, you know. Because, you know, those father-son relationships that you see on TV and stuff like that. I, that's what I wanted, you know. And when he was um, around six, uh, five or six, I really didn't have anything I could do with him that we both loved to do together. So I started, uh, you know, we started doing like uh, toy hunts and stuff like that. And I started collecting figures again. And so did he. And that was actually one of the reasons why I started figure collecting with him because listening to the podcast, you know, it, g it gave me an idea like, well, maybe if we can collect toys together, you know, that might be a hobby that he and I could do together. And that was one of the things that started the YouTube channel. So after we started, you know, figure collecting and, you know, stuff like that, I started the YouTube channel, which is why, you know, that that's why I'm here now, the J&J &J Toy Giants, my son Jaden and my name is Javier, but you can call me JD. So that's what's the the J and J stands for. Three hours later. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. That was a little bit of. I went left a little bit. That <laughs> too uh, and too deep for you guys for this Fourth uh, of July. But uh, this is the the FTC uh, figure. I got it for for just nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. Got it for $9.99. It was basically loose. It was in the actual plastic that you opened from the box. Um, so technically it was loose, but it was still uh, in really, really good condition. It was already wrapped. Uh, like the twisties were still on and it was just uh, inside of the, the plastic, just no box. So I got it for $9.99 off of uh, eBay through uh, high spots so if you guys are really into collectibles for wrestling autographs sign signings um you know collectibles for wrestling you know action figures high spots is where you can find them um on ebay and i think you can go onto their i think they have a facebook group uh on facebook but one of the things that i will tell you about and it's been very well known about these particular figures the ftc uh figures is that they they weren't mass produced so they weren't the, the actual figures were pretty much put together by hand mo mostly and you know the the material that was used to make the moldings for these is not that um not that uh, great as far as like the material so sometimes a lot of times really these types of figures from the ftc um they do break very easily so 
even Brian Myers, I mean, with his figure, he goes, you know, anytime you got you get an FTC figure, it's really more so for the collectors, you know, for you to display them and not necessarily play with, because a lot of times, uh, you know, more often than not, I would say, you know, eight times out of ten, the figures will break if you try to play with them like a normal kid would, and so. I basically just use this uh, or collect just for display purposes. I don't really play with them. You know, I'll keep them in my hand. I move them around, stuff like that. But I really just uh, display my figures uh, as opposed to my son. I would never get him something like this. My son, he it just goes in on his figures, man. As as a little kid would, you know. If you're, I was a kid too. So like, you know, when you play with toys, you wanna, you know, you really put them through the ringer. And th these are just not figures that you would do that with. But I'm glad I got it because this is one of um, Brian Myers' first figures when he left WWE, um, or rather was released. And he used to call himself. This is the, his look right around the time he was doing um, TNA when he was in TNA and he was a tag team champion, but also when he was doing the Indies. So the what we call Indies is the independent wrestling promotions. So whenever you hear somebody say, oh yeah, when he was in the Indies, that means independent wrestling. He used to call himself the Prince of Queens. He still called himself the Prince of Queens, but um, this is basically what it looks like um, around 2002-ish. No, no, no. When did he leave? It had to have been like around the mid 2000s, early 2010s when he was released from WWE. And this is basically what his persona was, Prince of Queens. And I am trying to uh, start my own major wrestling figure podcast collection. I do have the Super 7, the first figure. Let's see if I can get it here. I haven't, I haven't unpacked it yet. This is the Brian Myers... Uh, Super 7. You can see it's a Super 7 on the bo bottom there. Let's see if I can take this out just to... Alright. So this is his uh, Super 7 from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. His first um, figure through Super 7. And they have another one coming out soon. Um, and I still... I still consider this one to be a part of the collection because it, it is Brian Myers. It's just um, it wasn't the Super 7 and they have uh, their major bendies. They have their big rubber guys. So they have their own figure uh, company that they sell their action figures from. And yeah, so what was the other one that they... Oh yeah, they have their... Uh, figures through Powertown. Powertown was a company that was recently started up maybe a couple years ago, maybe last year or the year before. So Powertown is also making the figures for the TNA uh, wrestling company. And so um, Matt and Brian, so Matt Cardona, a.k.a. Zack Ryder, and Brian Myers, a.k.a. Kerr Hawkins, have a two-pack of the Powertown figures. They are still scale, um, but also they they did also talk about on their podcast that they still also, it's kind of like the FTC where like the original figures were breaking. A lot of the figures were breaking. So they stopped, they, they stopped and then redid the mold to make sure that they were, you know, making sure that they were actually still good before they went ahead and did all, all different kinds of uh, other figures, all the other series and stuff like that. So, Really, really liked. I was actually surprised that I was able to get it for the best price that I could. So it was nine ninety nine. Okay. So, um, but I appreciate everybody with uh, watching the live. Thank you so very much, guys, for being with us for this live TikTok live video of J and J Toy Giants. Please be sure to like and subscribe and go over to our. Um, our profile, our link tree is going to be there. It has a link to all of our socials, especially our YouTube channel and our Patreon channel. If you guys like some reaction videos and some good old nostalgia, definitely want to go over to our uh, Patreon page. The, uh, the subscription uh, prices are pretty good compared to a lot of other channels. There is a seven day trial that you can take a, you know, advantage of. So be sure to like and subscribe, which is free on our uh, YouTube page and also 
check us out on Patreon. And also, check us out on Instagram, X, and Twitch. We are also on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. I appreciate you guys coming to the live. Keep on cruising. Have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve. Or New Year's, rather. No, no, not New Year's. What am I saying? Happy Fourth of July. Duh. <laughs> Watch, that's going to be that. Somebody's going to record that. I'm like, yeah, this guy's an idiot, idiot. But um, thank you so very much, guys. Keep on cruising. Have a great 4th of July. Mm -hmm.